Hi everyone, so I recently purchased a top candle warmer. I ordered it on January 25th. It was processed and ready to ship out on January 28th and I received it a week later on February 4th. So today I finally got around to opening it. Um, it ships from Utah, so it's within the US. Just for reference, I am in California, so it took about a week to get here and uh, they used USPS. So here is the package that I got. I'm gonna go ahead and open it on camera. I'm really excited to see how it looks. It feels really light, so I think that's the only thing I'm a little bit kind of, kind of not too sure about how sturdy it will be. Okay, so I have this loosened up. Ooh, so right away, once you open up the packaging or the package, you see a good layer of bubble wrap, which that's really nice. The first few pages are my invoice, so I'm just going to remove that. All right, so for whatever reason on my packing slip, it shows that it is a FedEx tracking, but I actually received it via USPS, so maybe USPS did the final delivery. And to just show a little information, it is the Beacon Candle Warmer Lantern in black. So let me just take this off. So it looks like the bubble wrap extends all around the package. And yeah, this is really nice. I like it how it's... Ooh, so if you notice that it even had extra bubble wrap at the bottom, so it was really secure. Okay, now to go on to the actual product itself. Mm -hmm. Will my Bath and Body Works candles fit in here? We'll see. So once again, it's the Beacon Candle Warmer Lantern. They used to carry this, I believe, in a white color, but they only had black available at the time that I ordered. So as you can see, it says quickly releases scent with no flame, no smoke, and no soot. Just to go over some features, this isn't adjustable. So for example, if you have the taller Yankee candles, you're kind of out of luck for this. But I believe this fits the Bath & Body Works candles just perfectly. All right, and on the back you have some instructions. So I'm just going to go ahead and open up the box. Okay. So right away, I see that they have, I believe this is the manual. Yeah, it's a user guide. And I think they had it in this little um, Ziploc bag, just so in case that if for whatever reason it got wet, you would still be able to read the instructions. Okay. Let me go ahead and ooh, open this up. Okay, so I kind of opened it from the top down. So it looks like in the compartment at the top, I believe, since I did it the wrong way, or at the bottom. I believe this is the extra light that it comes with. Yeah, so in here we have an extra light that I believe goes inside. Or this could be the one that I need to put into the beacon lantern. So this is how it looks like taken out. It's pretty well wrapped, I think. I'm not sure. This doesn't seem like a return, so we'll see. It's got a cute little, cute little light function. So I'm going to go ahead, take off this plastic wrap, and then I'll come back. Okay, I just took out the plastic wrap, and I, what I believe that this was the additional light turns out that it I would need to put in this light so it doesn't come with an extra light um, it just includes the one with it all right so now I'm gonna go put in this light and take out the cord so use all the mess but the cord is pretty long unlike my bottom warmer that the cord it maybe stops up until 
right here. This is a good maybe like six feet. I'm going to go ahead put this in and this is how the bulb looks up close. So it just has two little prongs and I'm, I'm going to put this in. All right, so I just put in the bulb and it's a little bit tricky because they have certain notches in. So I'm going to show how to um, put in the light bulb that they provide. I don't know if you can see, they have um, two circle kind of knobs. And then what you're going to do is you're going to put the two prongs in the middle one, not the side ones because it can't reach. And they recommend using a cloth so that it doesn't affect the bulb. So I just used a um, glasses cleaning cloth. Oh, and this is the sticker at the bottom, just giving you a bunch of warnings and um, stuff that you should be aware of. So this is the bulb and I just have my uh, eyeglasses cloth. As you can see, the two knobs, I'm going to go ahead and put it inside of the bulb. All right, so here it is how it looks. I still haven't screwed it in, but what I'm going to do is get the cleansing cloth and then just kind of gently turn it clockwise or to the right. All right, so I want to make a note to use very gentle pressure with this light bulb. And you'll know that it's fairly in place. It doesn't make any snapping or clicking noise, but you'll know when so you get the cleansing cloth and you kind of like put your fingers on it and you can't move it from side to side anymore. So previously when I thought it was tightened, I just did that whole check. I went side to side and I felt uh, movement up and down. So I just tightened it some more going like this to the right. And as you can see, it doesn't want to tighten anymore. And so now I know that it's securely in place and I'm going to try to test it with a Bath and Body Works candle. All right. So currently the only outlet I have available is close to the ground. So we'll make do for now. As you can see, it has a little switch, which it controls uh, the power on and off. Right now it's on off. So once I click it, it turns on and that's so pretty it looks like a cute little night light um on the bottom it does have a little ridge for you to place your candle and the space is pretty tight at least it looks like it so far i took out a candle from bath and body works this is the ice cream bar in a three wick um, i don't know if it's visible from this angle but i had a lot of issues with this candle it cleaned it cleaned. It burned evenly. However, it started to get very sooty. So I'm going to see. Hopefully it fits. At least, at least from all the reviews, it said that it does fit. And that looks absolutely gorgeous in here. I think I'm going to have to find a little room for it. And once I get to eye level, there's maybe about two centimeters from the top of the candle to the lantern so it looks really nice um i'm gonna see how long it takes for the candle to start melting just to let you know i have already burned this about um it's almost it's it if i try to light up this candle it still works but it's maybe got 25 percent left so i'm gonna see how long it takes for this candle to melt and i'll come back all right, it seems a little dangerous to leave this um, right by my door on the ground, so I moved it on my hamper. It is currently 326, so we'll see how long it takes for this to fully melt. Okay, so it is now 348. I don't know if that's visible on my watch. Yeah, 348, and I started smelling something. I think... Um, it melted sooner, but I have like a wallflower. I actually have two wallflowers going along with this candle, but this one has a very specific milky note to it. Let me see if I could get it in view. But okay, if you see in that little sliver, you see that around the wicks that there is melted wax. So I thought this was going to take about an hour just because with my bottom warmer, it takes one not even it takes two hours to melt so this is already not even maybe 20 minutes in and it's already have a little it already has like a little wax pool yeah so if i angle my camera you can see that there is a ring and i can smell it already so so far so good i'm really enjoying this candle warmer and once again this one 
is not adjustable and you can't dim the light so whatever you get right now is what you're gonna get all right but yeah it's already 20 minutes in and the candle is up to like right here and it already is giving off scent and it's melted okay i'll check back later so right now it is 3 56 and maybe 10 minutes have passed but i noticed that the circumference of where the wax pull is is extending almost out into the outer rim so right now you can't tell but maybe in about 10 to 15 more minutes it will completely pull out on at least the first a centimeter or two but what i wanted to say is that in the 10 minutes that have passed since the last time i updated um like i said in the beginning of this video this candle ice cream bar started to get very sooty and that is one of the reasons why i stopped burning it because it started to give off um a very smoky sooty kerosene like smell and it messed up the flavor of not the flavor but it messed up the scent of the ice cream bar, the more lactonic, milky, sweet scent that this candle is supposed to be. And I was a little bit nervous that it had already too much soot in the wax. But as of right now, I feel like this smells, this smells like how it smelled on the initial first 25% of the burn. So the candle started about right here. And then it was good up until maybe about a quarter of the way done. And then... From here to here, it started to smell a little bit off, but right now I feel like the candle warmer has corrected that sooty smell. That this just proves that candle warmers are great for when you have a troublesome candle. Of course, you don't see that, you know, the beautiful flame and everything, but you know that the scent oils aren't going to be um, contaminated, I guess, or they're not going to be, the scent is not going to change. Um, so you're not going to get like a lemon scented candle, for example, and then towards the last 50%, it's going to smell like burnt lemon. <laughs> All right, so I'll come back with another update once some more time has passed. So right now it is 447 and um, the wax hasn't pulled on this side of the candle, but if I grab the little handle that it has at the top and ever so gently start turning the candle turning the candle a little bit more a little bit more i don't know if that's visible but if you can see on this side the wax has pulled up to right here on the back and um i believe that's partially because as i said this is my hamper and it's on a downcline my hamper is taller on this side than it is on this side so that's a potential reason this isn't a flat surface and i'm sure if i measured it it would be uneven but yeah i think that this is a win for this candle i really like it so far um the scent is great i don't smell any of the soot and i think this could have saved me a lot of uh, a lot of headaches trying to figure out what to do with this candle before when i was previously just um burning it and yeah, I think this is a great investment. It looks very pretty. I mean, some people may not like the lantern look, but if you get Bath & Body Works candles, um, it fits just right. Uh, of course, a reminder that this could get pretty hot. If I touch this, it's warm, but it's not, ouch, I'm going to burn my hand. But of course, this one, I wouldn't try to touch this if I kept heating this up for more than another hour or so. Yeah, and this is how it looks. So it is 541. That was a little hard to see, but this has been going on for uh, quite some time. And as you can see, the wax pull, whereas before it was just on the end, it has gone all around. It is about a centimeter um, of wax pull. And, um, yeah, the only problem with this candle warmer is that this height isn't adjustable. So you can't dim the light and you cannot move. It's a, it's at a fixed place. So that may be, um, kind of a make it or break it point for some people, but the Bath and Body Works candles, they are about three or, or slightly more than three inches, maybe like almost three and a half. 
and anything else would just be way too tall. So it is fine if you burn Bath & Body Works candles exclusively. Any taller, then um, you run the risk of it not fitting any smaller. And for example, if you had a candle that went up to maybe right there, it might not get hot enough. So you might have to get like a little coaster to like prop it up, stack lids, whatever you want. But yeah, so far we have a good even wax pull going. The a slight bubble on one end and everything looks great really love it would definitely recommend if i put a ruler all the way towards the bottom to the top it is about three and one fourth inches um i don't think that it would fit anymore or a taller candle because this yeah it's the space from there to there it's really tiny yeah, so any taller of a candle would not fit, just for the record. So it is now 8 o'clock, same day, and it looks like this is the most wax pull that this candle will give. If I go ahead and turn it, slightly more than last time, but you still see that it stops around right about here. I'm not sure if this is picking up on camera, but if i go a little bit closer into how the wax looks like um the kind of discoloration or dark spots that you see are because of the soot so if i go a little bit at a different angle you can see that the wax is almost fully melted and um, even though it had the soot in there from me burning the candle that it's not affecting the smell it's keeping the original scent now as far as um how warm it gets if i do move this if i grab the handle and i kind of shift it and i place my hand where the candle was it does feel slightly warm so that's just a quick reminder um, if I accidentally touch it right here on the handle, it is warm but not hot, as well as the bulb. I feel like if, um, if I were to accidentally touch it, it feels warm but not uncomfortable. Um, the glass does feel slightly warm as well, but it's nothing that um, it would feel like an immediate burn. So once again, I got this candle warmer. Its original price is $34.99. At the time that I purchased it, I had a 40% off coupon, which included free shipping. So I ended up paying only $20.99 for this. And I think it's a great price for what I got. And I think it makes a very nice nightlight lamp. Once again, with this cute little holder. And yeah, all in all, it is a great purchase. I'm going to go ahead and turn it off and as you can see here is the button that was provided it has a little flip switch so i'm going to go ahead and turn it off thank you so much for watching